and welcome back to our unit on measures of position where we're basically trying to figure out where a particular value lies within a larger data set. Last time we talked about quartiles, this time we're going to talk about percentiles, and in the last lesson we'll talk about z-scores. So jumping into percentiles. Now when we talked about quartiles, we were working with four sections of 25% each. This time, percentiles is made up of 100 sections. The easiest way to do it is just to jump in with an example. So we've got 20 students who took a test and you can see their scores there. And we need to determine the scores that represent the 60th, 87th, and 93rd percentiles. And I'll let you know what that means in just a minute. But the first thing we're going to do is take the scores and you need to put them in order from smallest to largest. Then we count the number of entries we have. In this case, we have 20 students that took the test. And then we take whatever percentile we're interested in and multiply it by the number of entries. So for the 60th percentile, we're gonna take 0 0.60 for 60% times 20, and that gives us 12. That 12 means that we need to find the 12th number. So in our data set for these test scores, the 12th number is 85, which means that 60% of scores are below 85. If the 60th percentile is 85, that means 60% of scores are below 85. Okay, 87th percentile, let's try that one. Same process, we take 0.87 times 20 and we get 17.4. Now normally, if you have anything 0.5 or above, you round up, anything point below 0.5, you round down. But in this case, when you're working with percentiles, any, any decimal point, you round up. So 17.4, we round up. So the 87th percentile is number 18. So we find the 18th number in our list, which is 93, which means that 87% of scores are below 93. Let's try the last one, 93rd percentile, same process. 0.93 times 20, we get 18.6, always round up, so that's 19. The 19th number is 94, which means that 93% of scores are below 94. Now, let's come at it from a different direction. What happens if I scored 73 and I want to know what percentile that is? Okay, so now the first thing we do is count the position of score uh, 73. So it's one, two, three, four, five, sixth, sixth position. Now we take the position divided by the number of entries there are, which is 20 still. So six divided by 20 is 0 0.030 or 30, 30%. So the score of 73 is the 30th percentile which means that 30% of scores are below 73. That's percentiles. It was a quick one. So we've done quartiles. Now we've, um, we've done percentiles. Next is Z-scores. And I'll look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for being here.